I'm going to show you how you can use AI to your advantage in the dropshipping industry to stay ahead from the competition and increase your likelihood of success. Now, there are many AI tools out there, but in this video, I'm going to reveal the five best AI tools that I've personally used over time. And just a reminder, I'm not sponsored by any of these tools that I'm about to show you. I just know that these tools are very useful and that they could benefit you as well. Now, let's not waste any more time and dive in. So, you have most likely noticed a huge spike in new AI tools in the past 12 months. Now, believe it or not, AI has been around for decades, and if you haven't been living under a rock lately, you should know about ChatGPT. But, a better alternative to that is Google Bard. ChatGPT and Google Bard operate in a very similar way to each other. However, the main difference between those two is that the knowledge cutoff date for ChatGPT was in September 2021, while Google Bard is up to date. This means any information you're asking ChatGPT, it will give you information ranging all the way to September 2021. For example, if I go to ChatGPT and search what niches are currently trending right now, it will give me the information, but it's outdated. Even ChatGPT itself tells me that it does not have real-time access to current trends and that the cutoff date was in September 2021. Meanwhile, if I go to Bard, and enter the exact question again, it will give me the information that is up to date and in real time. The answers from Google Bard are also much more accurate and precise. I personally believe that Google Bard will be way more powerful than ChatGPT in the upcoming years just because of this, and it's also easier to use and gives you much more accurate answers than ChatGPT. Now, Google Bard should be your go to option if you're looking for specific information about products or if you want it to generate product title product description, a bodice page text for your dropshipping store, or any other marketing or e-commerce related content, then Google Bard is your friend. But in terms of content, you will most likely find Google Bard useful when it comes to writing, getting ideas and information about certain things, and nothing that is visual. Which brings me to the next AI tool, and that is Flare. So when dropshipping, it is very, very important to have a landing page that is visually appealing to the visitors and that stands out from the competition because that's where you're sending all your traffic. It needs to look good and be welcoming to the visitors. I know that many people out there find the product, build a complete Shopify store around it in a matter of hours and forget to actually invest time into the visual look of the store and the product page. You have to know that you're not the only one selling a certain product. So you should strive to add some uniqueness to your offer to stand out from the rest. It can be anything from the product title, product description, pricing structure, upsells, and most importantly, the product images. When it comes to visual content, I use Flare, and it enables you to put in a product image from, for example, Google, and Flare will remove the background from your image and place the product in a nice and very realistic environment that you can then export and put in your product page. Now, of course, not all images that will be generated will be good, but most of them are and this will enhance the visual appeal of your product page. However, if you are someone that is experienced and would like to have more control and customize what is being generated, then you can use Photoshop AI. But keep in mind that it is still currently in beta mode. With Photoshop AI, you have a prompt just like ChatGPT or Google Bard. And all you have to do is select a certain area and write what you want the AI to generate and it will do it for you in seconds. Flare and Photoshop AI is what I use when I want to customize the product images for a product that I'm currently selling. So if Flare does not generate anything that I like, then I would use Photoshop AI to either customize what Flare has generated or create my own design from scratch. This method has worked very well for me till this day. Now, the next AI tool I think you'll like is Loka. So, if you have no experience in logo design or in design in general, or you're tight on time to create a logo, then Loka would be your best bet. It's an AI tool that will create a logo for you in seconds. Now, I honestly don't use this tool quite often, but when I'm very tight on time, then I use it. In front of you is Loka. Let's say you have a dropshipping store that is called Posture Ray, and I'm selling the infamous product you may know, the Posture Corrector. I will then enter the store name here and it will ask me a few questions, starting with what industry the store is operating in. 
In this case, I will just go ahead and write health and fitness. Next, I will pick a few logos I like. This will help Loka generate logos that fit my needs. And then I will select the color for the logo. For this one, I will just go ahead and go with the blue color. Lastly, they are asking for some symbol types. I will select health, fitness, strength and athletic and press on continue. As you can see, Loka has now generated tons of logos for me that I can go ahead and use for my dropshipping store. I can also go up here and select my own symbol if I don't like any of the ones that they have provided. Now let's say that I will go with this logo over here. If I click on it, I'm able to customize it to my own needs and I'm also able to see how Loka will deliver this logo to me. It will give me the logo in all logo formats, along with the logo on social media, multiple social media covers, website, and more. Now this is a great tool to use if you want to have your logo created very very fast. The only downside to Loka is that you will need to actually pay to export the logo. But if you're tight on budget, you can use a tool that is quite similar to Loka, and that is Hatchful by Shopify. This one is completely for free, but the downside with Hatchful is that it does not give you as many logos as Loka. And honestly, the logo designs are not so good. But you can give both a try and see which one works the best for you. Now, the next AI tool I think you'll like is Browse.ai. So, Browse.ai is an AI tool that makes it possible for you to monitor competitors on autopilot without having to do any manual work. I personally use this tool to see if e-commerce store owners are uploading new products to their stores or if they're running any new ads. Basically, it allows you to go to any website and take a screenshot or select a specific element that you want to monitor. And whenever a change or an update of what you've selected happens, you'll get notified. So let me show you how to use this to find winning products. When I see an e-commerce store that I find interesting, I go to their website. Then in their domain name, I write slash collections slash all. This will show me all the products in their store. I will now go ahead and copy this URL and head over to browse.ai. Over here, in the robot section, I select monitor site changes. Then, in the origin URL field, I'll paste the URL that I just copied in here and press on the start recording task button. Browse.ai will now open a window of the page. And here, I'll press on the robot in the top right corner and select capture text. This is where it gets fun. So for whatever I select here, every time it updates, I'll be notified. In this case, I want to be notified whenever the store owner uploads a new product to the store. So I will go ahead and select this product field over here. Then press on capture visible text and name it store products. And here's a quick reminder. You need to make sure that there's a number in the products field because this number is how many products the store has. However, for some stores, you will not see the products field. So what you can do instead is go to the robot in the top right corner and hover your mouse on the capture screenshot option. Then press the capture entire page option and give it a name and press finish recording. It will redirect you back to browse.ai and here you can select how frequently you want the robot to monitor the page for changes. I usually just put this robot to check the page once every one day for any changes. But if the store you want to monitor uploads new products frequently, then you can change it. So now that I'm monitoring this store and will be notified whenever they upload a new product to the store, I can even monitor more things to keep track of everything this store is doing. And that is the Facebook ads library and Google ad transparency. Because if somebody is uploading a new product to the store, they're most likely going to launch ads for the product to test it and I want to be notified about that as well. Because then, if they do launch ads and it does well for them, <laughs> I've practically found a winning product with zero work. The process to do that is simple. I'll copy the store URL and head to ad library to see their ad library page by pasting the store URL there. Once it has loaded, I'll need to copy the URL of this page and head back to browse.ai, then go to robots, and click on build new robot and monitor site changes. I'll paste the URL in the original field as usual and press on start recording task. 
and here I will select capture text then capture the result text over here at the top and press on capture visible text name it Facebook ads and press finish recording I will have this update once every one day as well as anything more than that is not needed for this particular store but for your store you can play with that if you want to so I am now fully monitoring this store and will be notified whenever they upload a new product to the store and when they launch new ads on Facebook. You can also monitor a store's Instagram, TikTok, Twitter or Pinterest page but it's not that important. What I just monitor is the actual store and the Facebook ad library page and the Google ads of the store because that's when they're spending money on running ads. And to monitor the Google ads of a store and see if they're running or launching any new Google ads you can do that by searching Google Ad Transparency on Google and clicking on the first link. Here you can enter the name of any website and it will show you if they're currently running any Google Ads or not. I also use Browse.ai to monitor the Google Ads of stores as well. Now the next AI tool I think you would like is called Magic Design and it's created by Canva. Magic Design basically allows you to upload an image of your product with access to a bunch of filters over here. You can utilize them to generate content on for example Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest or TikTok. It can be anything from feed posts to stories and you can even select the format you want, style or theme. This can be a great time saver to fill up your business account with content and make it look more alive. Now I'm going to be honest with you, Magic Design is an ocean of tools. So I'll leave it up to you to check it out. Alright, I hope that you've liked any of these AI tools. If you find this video useful, make sure to give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more valuable content. Take care for now.